Please heal and may Allah also bless him and his family and be pleased with the companions of Allah and may Allah be pleased uh, with the companions and those who will follow them till the end of Qiyamah. We pray may Allah make us among them. Alhamdulillah, uh, yesterday we will continue, so we will continue with the hadith uh, 30, 39 that we start, which was uh, the Sheikh brought the hadith in Allah Tajawaz Ali al Ummati al Khata wa Nisiyan wa Mastukri wa Ali. Allah has lifted the, the pen, Allah has pardoned his, uh, the community of what? The Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When it comes for them to what? Make mistake. Mistake that is not occur because they have willingly in intentionally did. No, it happened like that without their will. Allah will forgive them. And also, anyone who did something for forgetfulness or did not do something that he's supposed to do, forgetfulness, uh, forgetfulness, Allah will pardon the person. And the one also who is forced to do something, okay, or leave something he's supposed to do, that person also is what is pardoned. Allah show mercy upon the path, uh, that person. So the chef brought the hadith, the ayah. If he brought the ayah, where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he was revealed the ayah said wa in lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard wa in tubidu ma fi anfusikum aw tukhuhu yuhasibukum bihi Allah whatever occur in your heart in in between yourself if you reveal it uh, openly or it is secretly you keep it in your heart that moment is how the ayah was revealed the rest of the ayah not come yet okay so whatever you you know you you think any evil, any good, any anything that happened in your heart. No, if if only I can just you know grab this person properly. If only this, all that Allah said He will hold you accountable to the affair. And we say that the Sahaba they found it so hard. And of course, imagine Allah is going to hold that accountable. You know, in the truth, what we we think, what we have in our heart, we not repeat. No one will be saved. No one will be saved. So the, the Sahaba they went to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and you know it's not like they complaining, but they just you know say that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam they put upon us something that we cannot bear, something very hard on us that we cannot handle. It was difficult for the companions to deal with that. Allah will call them to account for what the thought of their minds and their heart. Whatever happened in your mind and your heart, Allah will hold you accountable day of Qiyamah. And only very few people will be, you know, will be saved on that. The Sheikh said that, but we know that it's hard. Nobody will be saved except Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who always is what? He's ma'asoon. He doesn't think, you know, any, any bad. And the awliya, we have some people, they always think good. Some people are like that. They get to the level where they always think about good, they don't even know evil. I may Allah bless her with that. With that. Uh, but that you need it to be really in a very good uh, environment also, and surround yourself with good people, and also you always in good. I may Allah grant us that. We know it's hard because we live in a moment of fitna. May Allah save all of us in our, in our family. So, Allah will hold you accountable for what is happening in your heart, what is happening in your mind. You yourself, even sometimes you think evil about yourself. Look, you are on the plane, everything is peaceful. And you say, you just, it comes in your mind that, hmm, what happened if this, train, uh, this uh, plane just go down, it crash? You yourself. So we don't even, you know, think about how we think evil about other people. And how we think evil to even commit sin. That's how Rasulullah said that because shaitan is running in, in, in our body like the way the blood is, 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 is circulated in our body, in our vein. The reason why you always say you keep on saying المستقيم, you will never stop. So they came and they said so it, it was difficult for them, the, the Sahaba, when this ayah was revealed, it was difficult for them. Okay, this is the end of what? 
So they came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam complaining. It's not like they complain, but they just, you know, begging if they can, Allah can show me a little, a little of his mercy in that. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and they said, we have been charged with an action we cannot perform. We have been, you know, put in a position where, on something that we cannot save ourselves. Because we cannot control what is going on on our heart. Not all, all the time we can control, control that. Evil can, thought come on, on, in our mind. Evil thought come all the time. It's just the moment sometimes you want to do it, you just remember about Allah, then you start. Or you remember, you say, I was with But evil come. Until evil will come, uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he told us, Shaitan will come to you, he will ask you who creates you. And who creates the heavens, what you say, everything that you see, he will give you the answer, kick. Allah, your Lord. Then it will come to the moment where even Shaitan will inspire you to say, to ask yourself, then who? Who can I tell you? So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Shaitan will come in with you like that. Shaitan that come in your talk. When you reach that level, you have to try to fight back and, you know, don't think about it and say, I want to be like a That's how some people have been misled. Misguided. They try to find out, you know, how Allah starts. He, he doesn't have the beginning and he doesn't have the end. Allah Akbar. And you cannot, and you cannot understand him. Just take what Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is explaining you about Allah and how Allah Himself is explaining Himself in the, in the Quran. Allah 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 la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum la ta'khudhuhu sinatu wa la nawm he explained to you take that and it is enough for you clearly give us uh, understanding the reason why Allah prays the beginning of the the, sort of the second uh, chapter of the Quran this book is a guidance for what? the muttaqin and he said the first thing he said what? Allah didn't know what? Belghai those who believe in what is unseen, what is not, what you cannot understand, you believe. They told you that's what you need, you accept. So may Allah make us understand. So he said, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they came and complained, therefore the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told them, Atu ridu kama qalat banu Israel sami'ina wa sayna. So you guys also want to say, Ya Allah, you told us that you will call upon us a court table on what is going on in our mind, in our heart. We understand what you say, but we will never obey that. We cannot handle it. We're not going to uh, obey you in that. You want to say that like that? And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi just give them answers. Go to Sabina wa Tana. You have to have good manners with Allah. Good manners with Allah is that when He told you something, you don't care. You just say, Ya Allah, I understand. I will go and do it. He is the one who creates. Allah ya'ala man khalaqa. Wa huwa Allah taifun khabir. He creates you if He puts something on you. It's because he knows you can handle it. He just wants to see your willing and your, you know, 
your, 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 your belief that you want to obey him. Look at Ibrahim, Sayyidina Ibrahim, alayhi salatu wa sallam. How Allah tests him. And we all know an old person with his only young ch child. We all know. In the, in, the, in the villages, if you want to have peace with old people, don't play with their, their, their youngest one. They will kill you. Their youngest children, they don't play with. They have a lot of children, but the youngest one, la ilaha. And the same thing also their youngest wife. They are ready to even kill their own children because of their youngest wife. Because this is the, you know, the number one in the house. A father, when we came back from, this happened in my neighborhood. He came back from farm, and it happened that his son just went to play soccer. And he just came, since there's no, it was, it was, uh, it was not, we don't have water. So he just put water in the thing that we use back home to do with wudu with. He went there just to shower himself. The moment he showered himself, I think it happened that the youngest wife, that's the moment also, she's entering the bathroom to take shower. The father just saw the, his, he threw out his son. He's thinking, he's thinking I mean, about, about him, and nothing happened. And there's no way in your son will even try with your, your own wife. That's his mom. They have to beg the father to forgive the son because he said that he's evil. How come Zuhur can, he is on the, on the, uh, working at the, on the, on the farm, and then he came, then he found both of you taking shower. Because what happened, the youngest wife, she's still young. So they don't play. I bring this because to ask, for us to know that an old person with his young child, and this one, Sayyidina Ibrahim is the only one that died. Ismail was the only one, and he was old before he asked him. Allah asked him to slaughter. It's not like go and put him somewhere. A lion will come and grab him for me. No, you yourself slaughter him for me. For me. But what he did? It's called Allahu Rabbu Aslam. Call it Aslam to Allahu Bilalami. He went, he took his son. A son also who's also patient and obedient to his spirit, his father. Do what had been commanded to you, my father. And that's what happened. Then he 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 slaughtered his son, his son at the end. He did not. And I said him, and I just want to see his what? His iman. The same thing happened to Bani Israel. Udukhulu la abdal muqaddas al-lati katab Allahu lakum wa la tarfada ala aymanik fatal qalibu khasirin. They refused. Musa alayhi salatu wa salam told them Allah commanded to enter the abdal muqaddas. Enter it, enter inside and do not, you know, step, step, step back. They refused. They said, oh, we have a lot of huge human beings over there. They, Big strong, strong man inside that city. We're not gonna enter. Yeah, Musa. And then they told him, Yeah, Musa, in the Abadam Mada Mufiha. As long as these people are still there, we will never even step even one inch to enter him. First have Alta Rob. You and your 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 your, your Lord go to Kotila. Both of you go and fight them. When you, in the, in the we were sitting here. That's what they told him. Then you understand who is Bani Israel. When you see what they do today, if they have, you know, they have that and do, do they have done it to a, a messenger, don't even worry. You will understand who are Bani Israel. That's the reason why when people are in you know, themselves to them, <laughs> you are foolish. You are fooling yourself. They are evil, and we all know the evil. When a person starts evil, those who will come back. After they do it even uh, more, they do it worse. It's only goodness that you see people cannot, you know, do it perfectly. Or like when you see some book, like the, his, this one, the way he even he, he wrote books, who can do that today? Nobody. And look at this, how they came. But this one is not today. They have been doing this before. It, they say one in one day, they kill more than a hundred prophets. Yes. 
This is the Bani Israel. They slaughtered them. Some of them, they cut them in pieces. These are Bani Israel. So be careful with them. You have to deal to know who you deal with. So they, they also lost us on them. So you guys also want to act like them, saying that, Ya yeah, Allah, you will do something that we cannot obey. That's what you guys want to, to say. And also, that's also make things easy for us and for them right away. You guys just say, Sami Allah wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, you are our master. We understand. We listen to what we said. We will follow. We will obey. Allah Himself, He knows. That's how when he's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saw their iman. And then he, he revealed the next ayah. He said, Amal al Rasulu, Bima Muzal ilayhi me rabbihi, wal muminu. If you were a bad, if you were a bad Rasul, may Allah protect that Rasul Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never be a bad leader. If he was me and you, who would say, that's true. Allah also, we will start saying stuff like that. But Allah Allah knows the one who deserves the what? The message, message and he will give them. They always have good manners towards Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Look at Rasul Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he wanted to give him 50 prayers by day per day. Musa alayhi salatu wa salam keep on asking him. After five prayers, Musa asked him, he said, uh, I, cannot, I, I am shy to go to go back to my Lord again and ask him for that. He's shy. That's al adab Oh, if it's not Allah who killed him. Huh? No. Please, kill him. But Ibrahim, he said, Allah khalaqani وَهُوَ يُتِيمُنِي وَيَسْكِينَ وَإِذَا مَرِدْتُ He said, وَإِذَا مَرِدْتُ فَهُوَ يَسْكِينَ وَإِذَا مَرِدْتُ He's not, he's not say, وَإِذَا أَمْرَضَنِي He's not say, when he, he, he put sickness on me, when he caused me to be what? To be sick. Of course, it's with the will of Allah that the person got sick. But he said, وَإِذَا مَرِدْتُ When I got sick, he's the one cure me, giving me healing. Allah is the one who will heal him. He don't say, what Allah calls me to be, to be sick. So we don't say stuff like that. A Muslim, you always control your tongue. It's like, it, some people don't want to ask a question. And they say, Imam, if, if you die, huh? Everyone want, nobody wants to die. <laughs> says, if someone passed away. But if you die, <laughs> Right now, if the lion enter here, even me, I will be the first one to run from this uh, this window. Nobody wants to die, but we want Jannah. But the problem is that if you don't die, how are you going to make it to Jannah? <laughs> so, Allah repeat the ayah, he said, I am the Rasul. The prophet, the messenger, he believed in what Allah has revealed to him, what has come to him from his law, and also the companion, the believer. The believers also believe in what Allah has revealed to them. They believe what Kullun, all of them, they believe Amal Billah. They believe in Allah. And they believe that Allah has his what? Creation that is called angels. And they believe in, the, in the, all the books that Allah has revealed. Allah has sent them before, even the Quran, and the Quran also included. And they say, La mufarriku bayna ahad ibn Rusul. They don't uh, put any difference between all this, the messengers. They say, Wakalu, they say, Sami inna wa ta'ala. Allah praise them. That's the reason if someone will come today and talk bad about any, any, any of the companions, you run away from them. Sami inna wa ta'ala, they say, Ya Allah, we understand, we will obey what we say, but Ya Allah, Gufran, we ask you to forgive us. Because we will never be able to do it perfectly. It will come something that will happen on our heart. And you say you will hold us upon the heaven. So any evil that will occur in our heart, in our mind, Ya Allah, we ask you, we frown it. We seek for your forgiveness. Rabbana, we lay on mercy. We are all who will return to you. That's how Allah just revealed the ayah. That we all know. La yukallif Allahu nafsan illa wasahat. Allah is not going to put any burden on a person beyond his what? His capability. 
Lahara Kasabat. He gets reward for the, the good he has done. Wali Hamad Kasabat. And the evil he has done, here is Maktasabat. It's not what he feels. The beginning we say what Nilay Mafi Samawaka Mafalo wa in to budu mafi and to sikum out of home. If it okay your heart, okay, or what is evil you will reveal it or you not reveal it, Allah will you has to be what Allah will judge you about it. But he said no. Now now you can let us what what this ayah is the ayah that they call Al Mansukh. It is what? It's like it is a uh, wife, but it's still there we read for what to get benefit but it doesn't work it is a hukum it is a rule in here no one cannot come in the member if mom come in the member and I say no one can come in the member if mom come in the member Allah will judge you what you have in your heart and he will just go like that he will tell you imam please come back you have to finish this because you put us in problem yeah imam how come? Because this ayah doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work in the sense of what? Allah is not going to judge you about what you have done in your heart. That's the reason why if you remember we did the hadith where Rasulullah told us, if you think about doing, doing evil and you don't do it, you will have a reward. And if you think of doing good and it happened that you forgot you don't do it, you will have reward also. So we did that hadith already. SubhanAllah, may Allah bless the, the Sheikh. He brought it before, and then we have this one. So what occurs in the heart, Allah is not accountable. Allah is not going to go the accountable. But a Muslim, you always have to think good. Don't take evil. Anytime it, uh, evil comes to you, try your best to fight back. It's shaitan. So, but the end is what? Laha ma kasabat. Kasabat is what? Iktisab. Whatever you your body has worked for, if it is good, you will have the goodness. And then, what you have done also, a person has done evil. They have go with their hand, with their body, limbs to do evil, they will have also their what? Their punishment for that. That's what they have, they will be in. So that's the, the uh, that's what like a Then the dua can That's what we said here. That's the, the hadith. Yeah Allah, do not hold us accountable in the sina if we forget our akhtana or we make mistake without willing, you know, in, uh, without we willing to do it. Ya Allah, do not put Ya Allah, lay not on us a burden like that which you, which you did on those before us, the Jewish and the Christian. Our Lord, put not on us a burden greater than we have strength. You ask Allah, this is dua Allah gave us to make. It's a dua that is already accepted by Allah. Because He's the one who gave us this dua. This is the word, use it, you ask me, and I will account you that. It's already granted. Even if you are so old, old, uh, old uh, eloquent, eloquent, right? I say eloquent. If you are so eloquent, like more than anyone, please, if you make a dua, usually use this kind of dua. Because this comes from Lahu Mahfuz. It's from Lahu Mahfuz, took it and then he revealed to us. And he asked us to make dua. Ya Allah, do not put on me something that I cannot handle. وَلَا تَحْمِلْ عَلِيْنَا إِسْرًا كَمَا حَمَدُ وَلَزِنْ وَبَنَوْ لَا تُحَمِّلْنَا مَا لَا فَقْفَةَ لَنَا بِهِ And Ya Allah, you may put something that we can handle, but we, since we are weak, because you told us وَخُلُقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفَ You have created him in weakness, he is weak. Ya Allah, because of that, فَعْفُ عَنْهُ Even you put something that we can handle, sometimes we may fall. That's how Allah tests us. He will test us with a little that we can handle, but we, you don't pass the test. The next one, he will reduce it again. You don't pass. The reason why he said, Ya Allah, wa afu'anna. Pardon us and grant us forgiveness. Have mercy on us. Pardon us, forgive us, and have mercy upon us. Because no mercy, no one will make it together. 
And they say, he said, this company, one of the companies said, even you, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, say, yeah, even me. So they were shocked. With your work you are doing? Yes, even me. Except that Allah covered me with his mercy. The reason why we need Allah's mercy in anyone, anyone, every, every, every day. So you say, Warhamna, Anta Mawlana Rasulullah from the Kafir. Ya Allah, you are our, our uh, supporter, our protector, our patron. The French people say patron, right? Patron in English, right? The French people say patron. <laughs> so, yeah, Allah give us victory over there. It's believing people. May Allah give victory to our brothers and sisters in Gaza. Amen. And may Allah relieve us from evil, inshallah. So he said, Rabbana la ta'akhidna in the sin of Allah, our Lord punish us not if we forget or fall into uh, mistake, error. So this is the, this is the dua, this is the ayah, and then there's another ayah, ulaysa alaykum judahun, fi ma akhfatun bihi wa lakin ma ta'am madat kulubuhu. Whatever people, uh, this is for of Allah, that, uh, when, whenever a person ha happen, it happened a person to make a mistake, okay, but they don't really, in their heart, they don't really want to do it, it's just, it's a mistake that happened, okay, that's okay, and Allah is not going to hold the person accountable, but it is what your heart deliberately has intended to do, that's what Allah will hold you, always use you, or hold you accountable, the hadith 40. We go to Hadith 40. We have the Hadith until Hadith 40, 42. But it's 40, yeah, it's 42. It's Arba'un and Nawi, but they add two other Hadiths. In Arabic, when they say Arba'un, it doesn't mean that it's, it's here. You will have 40, 41, 42, until 43, or 45 even sometimes. They call it 40. All right, so we have the Hadith 40, and I think uh, it is a, something that we all know also. Is the hadith of uh, Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased uh, with, he, with both of them. Ibn Umar, what's his name? Ibn Umar, what's his name? Abdullah Ibn Umar, that's his name, Abdullah. His name is what? Abdullah. We have Abdullah Ibn Umar, we have Abdullah Ibn Abbas, and we have who? Abdullah? We have Abdullah Ibn Masoon. They call them Abadila. <laughs> So he's Ibn Umar, that's the son of Umar. His name was is Abbas. Abdullah ibn Abbas. Not Abdullah. Abdullah ibn Abbas. Hey, Abdullah ibn Umar. We have Abdullah ibn Umar, we have Abdullah ibn Abbas, we have Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Here is Abdullah ibn Umar. Sometimes they will tell you an, an Ibn Umar, but they will bring Abdullah. Sometimes they say an Abdullah ibn Umar. Radiallahu anhuma. May Allah be pleased with both. The father and Abdullah himself. He said, Allah's messenger held me on my shoulders and said, Kun fi dunya ka annaka gharib awa'abiru sadeel. Be in this world as if you are a stranger or a passerby. Or sometimes someone who is in transit. This is very beautiful hadith. You know, I remember when we were young, I, the moment we, we reached this hadith, I was so happy. Allah. You leave this dunya as what? As you are a stranger. Because a stranger person, he will never let himself go like the one who is what? Who is, who is in his, his own, you know, hometown. Kun fi dunya ka anna ka gori awa'abiru awa'abiru sabiru. So, when it is, and then Ibn Umar also, Allah be pleased with both of them, would say, he, he, because of this hadith, they said, when, okay, when it is evening, do not wait the next morning. If I'm saying that, فَلَا تَنْتَزِرَ الصَّبَحِ If you find yourself, like you find ourselves in evening, we shouldn't, you know, plan like, in dunya, like, we have, the guarantee that we will be alive the next day. And then he said, when you wake up in the morning, do not await the evening. When you find yourself in the, in the morning also, 
do not live like you will be able to make it to, to the evening. So that will make you work hard for Akhir. Because you know in your mind that you, know that you, you don't have 100% that you will, you will live the next seven hours. He said, take from your, your, your health for your illness. He said, take from your health for your illness. You mean before your illness. Okay? Take advantage of what? Your health. Before what? Illness come to you. Because no matter how you live, you will get sick one day. If you don't get sick one day and then you live long, you're going to get old and you're not going to be able to do a lot of things. But the mercy of Allah is that if you used to do such things, Allah will reward you that you have been, even if you don't do it. That's the reason why he's saying, use your health before what? Before you get sick. And from your, your life before you die. Take advantage of your, your life before you die. It's not the way we understand it today. Oh, we only live once. Let me, let me enjoy. The enjoyment we're talking about is the enjoyment that will take you to hellfire. May Allah protect us from that. What kind of enjoyment is that if it will end to what? To a punishment? It's not a, it's not a, it's not any enjoyment that will end with what punishment is not enjoyment. But any suffering that will end up with a good reward, it is enjoyment. You don't see how we walk? The customer will come and scream at you and say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because of what? Paycheck on Friday or on Thursday. Because you don't want to, you don't want to mess, mess up your job. It's the same thing for our ahead. But if you want to follow your design, you are at your job and then the customer comes and scream at you and then you say, leave me alone. And then you start fighting with the, with the customer and the next minute he will tell you, you know, can you stay home for a while? Then they will never call you back again. You lose your job. But because you know you will lose your job, you will always be kind to that person. Even if you are the one who is the victim. So we should always use our life. When we are still alive, for what? For Akhir. I always say, us, as young people, we always have to be careful. Wallah, we have to use our youth in the deen. The reason why the day of Qiyamah, one of the people who will be under the shade of Allah, the day there is no shade except Allah's shade, is a young, the youth who is struggling in the deen, who strive, they, they were so what active in the deen. Allah will put them under the, the shade. So you have your strength. Before you start making sujood that is not proper, today you can make very good sujood. If you want, you can ask our elders. The way you just run from the you know, down from the uh, from the door, the main door of the masjid, until you get up, in just one second you are in the masjid, it's not the same thing with our elders. The elders, when they take one step, they have to lean onto the wall again for a while before they continue. And it's not even only elders. Some people allow test them with their, their legs. It takes them like 10 minutes from the door before they get to the musket. But you, a blink of eye, you there. So why are you wasting your time? There will be a time you will become also weak. If it's not because of sickness, but because also your age is not allowing you to have that strength anymore. So before that moment came, come, try to take advantage. So Ibn Umar, he really, he's, uh, Ibn Umar, he's, he's so smart. He said, when you find yourself in the evening, do not live like the next morning you will be alive. So it means, if you, in your mind, you really think like the next minute, the next morning you're not going to be alive, are you going to sleep at night from A to Z? No. You will get up. Ya Allah, I don't know if I will be alive the next minute morning. Ya Allah, I pray and you forgive me. And you'll spend your time thinking about creation of Allah, asking Allah for forgiveness. 
Because in your mind, in your heart, you are not sure that you're going to make it in the what? In the morning. Don't just say in your mouth, but in your heart, you already have a, like a million of plans. Like you own your own life. When Allah bless you the morning, Alhamdulillah, He led the Ahiyada, Ba'adama, Wa Ta'alayhi, Nishu, you make all the askar, don't wait, don't put your mind like you'll be alive in the evening. That's how Ibn Umar give, give us this, this advice. After what Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi told him, Kun fi dunya ka'anaka barib, awa aabi wa sabiim. Stay in this dunya as what? A stranger person. Awa aabi wa sabiim, or someone who is passed by. You make a transit. You don't know nobody. So you're not going to relax. You just want your destination. And of course, dunya is a transit path. We are strangers here. Whatever you say you buy is not for you. You just rent it. The day the lease will finish, you don't even know the day the lease will finish. At least here, in this dunya, in our dunya, some people will think that they, they own it and they make a lease for you. You know the lease, when the lease is about to end, they will give you a what? A renewal, right? Hey, but Allah doesn't give anyone a renewal. You don't even know when it will end. It will come after. Sudden. Since you know it will come back to, when we were at school, we had some math and science uh, teachers, they are so mean. Other people, other uh, professors, when they want to test you, they always let you know in advance. But this one, they don't really let you know. It's in the morning they will tell you, you know, all the bags out. Huh? And everyone is sh shaking. So that's what is happening. Dunya, you know that Allah only told you what is going to happen, but he will never tell you, he will never tell anyone the day you will die. So you have to prepare for him. So the good, the good student, those professor, we always ready. With him, with those professors, two professors, I still remember what they are facing. They saw me, and among them, that time. The others in this season, they are always mad at us because we love those professors. Because it doesn't make any sense if he already told you that he would test you. You all will learn and you can't. You don't, you don't see the one who is really trying. But he will always just come like that and then surprise you with a test. So it's the same thing with, 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 with our dunya. The day the lease is finished, we don't know the lease, the day the lease will finish. The reason why we should live like we are strangers. Or we are in transit. We come all the way from we come from uh, uh, from the sky, from the heavens, gentlemen. And because of certain mistakes, Allah decided to you know put that down so that we were to return to Jannah, or we disobey, or some people disobey to return to what to help our America protect us from that. So we are in transit. No one owns anything here. Everything belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to get ready. May Allah help us to be ready. And so the, how to be ready, that's how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in one hadith said, the one who's smart is the one who's preparing, working to prepare what? To prepare for his future. But the one who doesn't know, he's the one who just say, and then he still, you know, have hopes, hope. الكيس اها من دار نفسه هو عامله لما بعد الموت so may Allah make us among those people you always have to prepare yourself this dunya nobody own it whatever you own you will live it if it doesn't finish before you, you die you will have to go and some people will come and they will enjoy it the reason why he said وَأَتُوهُمْ بِمَّا لِلَّهِ 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 وَأَتُوهُمْ نعم نعم سوانا هاي من صوت صوت الحديد هي سير مما جعلكم مستخلفين فيه جعلكم مستخلفين فيه هذه آية هي سير هي سير وعنفقوا مما جعلكم مستخلفين فيه هذه آية وعنفقوا مما جعلكم مستخلفين فيه الخلافة وين الخلافة هاي إني جعل إن جعل في الأرض خليفة and then we call the Sahaba Abu Bakr the first Khalifa, right? 
the one who replaced Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So he said, "Wa'atuhul ma'anf wa'anf wa'anf yukum ma jana kum mustaqla fi nafi." Spend from what we have made you replacing each other. <laughs> because if you refuse to give today, someone will come and grab it, and they will give. So you have to give. So may Allah make us understand. Today you holding this money, tomorrow is the another one who is, who is holding it. May Allah, may Allah save us. So we are going to stop here. I think that's the end of the, the book. It's even though we still have a bodies that the Sheikh give us, uh, Hadith number 21, 21, which is La Yumila Adukum Hatta Yakuna Hawahu Tabaan Lima Jitu Bihi. And then the last one is what? Call Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala Yabul Adam in Nakama Da'unta Yu Wara Jotari. This is a beautiful Hadith. I think inshallah after Eid, inshallah we are going to resume it. May Allah give us light. Barakallahu alaykum, subhanakallahu alaykum, alhamdulillah, inshallah, 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 inshallah